Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make strategy like scrolling. So let's start by making a new application and make a camera object. So here's mine and it needs two values. The first one is uh, screen margin. <coughs> The second one is scroll speed. Uh, if you have uh, watched All Might and Tacos smooth scro scrolling tutorial, then uh, you should use that uh, ca camera object. It will look a, l a bit better. And if you use uh, Minimap, then look a whole lot better if you click on the minimap and it scrolls to that position. So let's start by making the code. We need to compare two general values. If the X mass is <coughs> lower then the uh, left visible edge of the frame <coughs> plus screen margin. First we need to put some values in here. I use 10 for the screen margin and 5 for scroll speed. So if the X mouse is lower than the left screen left frame plus screen margin, then we need to set the position X. Uh, if you use the camera object from Almighty and Tacos uh, tutorial, then you would put the uh, the value for scroll or x instead here. So we set the x position to the maximum value of its position x. Every time I uh, say position x or position y, you would you would use uh, scroll or x or scroll or y for if you use the camera object from Taco's video. So position x minus the scroll speed, uh, comma, position x minus scroll speed, minus parentheses, absolute parentheses, x mouse minus left visible edge. Multiply this by 0 0.1 and two parentheses to finish it off. This max function here, it uh, returns the highest value of the two conditions. So this is the first. If this returns a higher value than this, then this will be the value it returns in the end or if this is higher <coughs> then this is the one that will be returned. So that's the first one. Then if we have to compare two general values, if the X mass is greater than the right frame, uh, plus minus screen margin then we set the position x to the maximum value of uh, position x comma position x minus no sorry plus scroll speed minus Absolute value x minus minus frame right visible edge times multiply zero point one two parentheses. It's almost similar to this one, except this one has uh, x minus scroll speed 
and they're like uh, inverted. So if we test this out, I'm just gonna make the application just frame size a bit bigger, 3000, 3000, and let's make a quick backdrop. What if? There it moves. It moves this way if I hold it uh, on the other side. Uh, what you should do is uh, maximize on boot up and resize to fill with the size. So now it works when you get close to the edge. Let's put in an <coughs> always center position to the camera object. So now for the y, y position compared to general values, if Y mouse is lower than the top frame, the top visible edge, plus screen margin, then we will set the position Y to maximum position Y <coughs> minus uh, scroll speed, comma, position Y Minus scroll speed, parentheses, absolute value, oh, sorry, M minus parentheses, absolute value, parentheses, <coughs> uh, Y mouse, minus frame top visible edge, multiply this by 0 0.1, and to closing brackets. Last one, if Y mouse is greater than the frame bottom visible edge minus screen margin, then we will set the position Y to maximum of position Y, comma. Y plus uh, scroll speed minus parentheses absolute parentheses <coughs> uh, Y mouse minus Y bottom visible edge parentheses multiply this by 0 0.1 parentheses parentheses so now this should work in all directions because of the because of the thing at the bottom here, it moves slower uh, towards the bottom than the other sides. But if you change the resolution, then it goes the same uh, speed at all sides. I can see. So I've used this in my uh, RTS game that I'm working on. So you can see when you use the smooth smooth scrolling, and it looks a bit better. It moves around a bit uh, smoother, of course. <laughs> Hence the smooth scrolling. So. And of course, we don't want the camera object to move outside or even uh, higher up than the center here 
or more to the left than right here. So we'll put a condition that limits the exposition of it. We don't want it to go outside the right side of our frame as well. So we'll say if the position x is lower than <coughs> the right visible edge divided by 2, then we'll set the position x to the right visible edge divided by 2. So now we cannot move the camera object further to the left than this. So, and we don't want it to go outside on the right side either. So if it's greater, then the frame width minus frame left visible edge divided by 2 and take uh, the frame width minus this. So this will return like half a uh, screen in value and we will take the width of the frame and subtract it. So you can just copy this and say the position x is this. So now it shouldn't go outside on the right side either. I really should have made the frame smaller. So there it stops. So now we want to limit the y positions. So position y is lower than frame bottom visible edge divided by 2, so position y to frame bottom visible edge divided by 2, so now you can see it doesn't go further up, further up. and if the y position is greater than the frame height, it's the same as this one, so frame height minus frame height minus frame top visible edge and divide this by 2. And we set the y position to that value. It is. So now it shouldn't go further down than that. So now you don't have to wait for the camera object to move into the center of the screen before it starts moving. So I hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you next time.